Welcome everybody, time for the Cleveland Cutting Board Weekend Shop Update. Another great week. Uh, we got the Smithers board order, the 60 board order for the Smithers company down in Akron. That's all done. The boards are over soaking in oil right now. I have those boxed up and ready to deliver tomorrow. Uh, we've got a lot of the little orders for Christmas. Got a bunch of those knocked out. Uh, those turned out great. Uh, we've been doing these boards. Um, something we've done before, but kind of mixed up with a nice cool handle shape, um, kind of old school looking. I really like them. I think they're going to be a big sell. Sold a bunch of them already. Uh, we've got, what else we got done? Got a lot of cleaning done this week. Uh, my buddy Lane, who lives around the corner, high school kid, came over, he's five minutes away, pops in, his mom drops him off. Um, been doing a really good job with that, so it's been a big help. Got lumber put away. The loft is packed full of wood. I've got, if you need mahogany, I only needed a couple pieces, but I had to order 100 board feet. So if you need mahogany, um, we have it in stock. We have sapele in stock. We have uh, a lot of offcuts that I'm gonna, I'm gonna start posting offcuts, I think, for sale in lots, like a series of boards. Uh, not that I can't use them, but I just don't need them right now, and they're just taking up space. So if I can sell them and, and get them to you for you to use for your projects, that'd be great. Uh, what else this week? Uh, I am way behind on artwork, so the plan is to work in the shop this morning. I have some running around to do today and then spend this evening just working on artwork and getting it out for designs for people. The, the charcuterie wine glass holders, I got about 20 of those to do with artwork. I've got um, some more of the 17 by 8 serving boards I have to get done. I need the artwork done. Uh, the boards are great, done, just got to do the artwork, get the artwork approved and get that on there. So. I've got, I shipped the cutting board down to North Carolina this week for a customer. That's out the door. I've got three hard maple in, three hard maple edge grains right here. Got to get wrapped up and ready to deliver on Friday. Actually four, she ordered a fourth one for one of my realtor clients. Uh, CNC signage, I've got a ton of Christmas signs to do. I've got a bunch of the wine glass holders to do. Those have been real popular here. These are going out. Um, people are using these for like stocking stuffers or holiday gifts. Um, the charcuterie wine glass hoarders <sighs> covered in dust. I got another 20 or so of these to make for customers. Um, just got to find time to get the artwork done, which like I said, will be this afternoon. Um, what else? Oh, geez. It's just been working on production orders. That's been the big thing. I am going today to pick up the cherry, uh, hard, the cherry live edge cherry for the table for my buddy Dustin. That's going to get picked up today. Now, I was supposed to start that, but uh, a while ago, but our schedule's got, his schedule's been crazy, mine's been crazy, so that's gonna get pushed off till the spring. One reason, because we got super busy, both of us, and two, because they decided they want this table to be 16 feet long. So this is gonna be a project for the spring, this is gonna be a project that's gonna be done in the garage. My shop's just not big enough for a 16 foot long dining room table. I'm super excited, uh, a little nervous. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. 16 feet would be the longest table I've ever made, but. I'm um, going to meet with Dustin later today and get that wood moved over to my storage unit. Uh, pick out some pieces for the top and then I got six months to think about it. So that'll be starting sometime in April. A lot of you asked about the oak door project for the house in Vermillion. So that job got scrapped. First time I've ever had to scrap a job. Um, there was two, a bunch of things came up. So one, I was originally hired. Uh, by the homeowner who's an awesome lady to build the door and then we we're gonna have someone else install it. Everyone I talked to said they weren't interested in installing it once they heard the details. And I never quite figured out why until I talked to a buddy of mine who's a custom home builder out on the West Coast. And he, as I was explaining it to him, he said, Mike, I wouldn't touch that job with a 10 foot pole. Part of the problem is the door is so heavy. Not a huge deal. And he had told me, well, just put the hinges, put five hinges evenly spaced along the jam. I explained to him that the door has got a big arc on the top. He goes, well, that's your problem. All that weight's going to be supported from the bottom of the door, and it's going to be top heavy. The other problem is you don't know what's going on inside that jam. So you might get six inch screws and drive them through, but there's nothing there to support it. The other problem. And then upon further inspection, the sill plates rotted out. So that door that sits on the sill plate is rotted. So as all that weight's on there is pushing on that sill plate, it would have been disastrous. Um, I would just I, I explained to the homeowner, I don't want you calling me in January. She lives on the lake, like like literally from her front door you can see the lake. I don't want you calling me in January when the wind's blowing and it's negative 10 degrees that the door fell off the house. So the door, so her and I worked out a deal. Uh, the door is now going to be a dining room table for somebody. So if you're looking for a beautiful white oak table, I got a great start on it. And then her and I worked out a deal for some other work I'm going to do around her house for her. So. 
So I was really bummed, but it's one of those jobs where, and she agreed 100%, let's just take a step back, regroup. I think for her to do this door, replace the door, she's gonna have to pull off in the summertime, because the whole sill's rotted out. She was actually told me she was getting water in the basement. We discovered it's going because the sill's rotted. It's going, it's wicking down the wall, blah, blah, blah. So, so that's what happened with the oak door project. It's sitting right behind me on the floor. It's going to go into storage until someone is interested in buying an oak table. So that's been pretty much it. Just been kicking butt on all these uh, orders, Christmas orders. Speaking of which, as of this week, this coming week, that's it for the guarantee for custom work by Christmas. Now I have a lot of boards in stock. I have cutting boards, a lot of great security boards. Um, I'm not saying I can't get something done for Christmas, but it's gonna be hard for me to guarantee it. So um, I'm gonna spend, so I, uh, tomorrow I'm delivering the 60 board order to Smithers Company down in Akron. And then <clears throat> this week I'm getting started on the next 50 boards for my big customer out in Mentor. And then between, so my plan is to do I got five weeks to get those done, 10 boards a week, so that's not too bad. And that allows me time to work on other orders during, the, during that time period. Uh, so that's what's going on in the shop. Busy, busy, busy. Every year for Christmas is super busy this time of year. I basically gave my wife a kiss on the cheek uh, about a week ago and said, I'll see you in January. So she understands. But she's super busy at her job too, so she's very understanding. So that is what's going on in the shop. And for this week's small business shout out is going out to my friend Fran over at the Harbortown Trading Company, right there on Route 6 in Vermilion Liberty Avenue. She is just next to Rudy's. She's between Rudy's Bar and Grill and the chair maker. Um, she took over that space. It was Palmer T-shirt. She took that space over, turned it into a, a store selling clothing. Um, Dana loves it. I was in there the other day. We're working on a sign project for her and just it's just a cool little shop. Um, Stop in there, check her out. She's got all kinds of great stuff in there. My wife goes in there regularly. She's raving about the quality of the product. She raves about the, the, the different choices she has, all the different uh, items in there. The selection, I guess what I'm trying to say. And she's been, the prices, according to my wife, has been phenomenal. So if you're looking for something different when it comes, you're looking for that piece of clothing that you can't find anywhere else, check out Fran, check out the Harbortown Trading Company. Um, let her know that you seen her, you, let her know that you seen this video um, so I know, I'll get feedback from these people if you're going to these businesses. Also this week, so as you know, every month I do the secret sign where I make a sign for somebody just because. It's just, uh, it's a sign that I make for someone that either I respect a lot, someone who I am very good friends with. I've even given signs to people I don't even know, but I just see that they're doing awesome stuff in the community. I gave a sign to somebody who I know, I don't know personally, but I know for a fact they do a lot of volunteer work, so I made them a sign just to show respect. Don't call me and ask me. I had three people in the last month say, hey, can I get the secret sign this month? That's not what it's about. It's not about me giving you a sign because you want one. That's not a secret sign. If you want one, order one. I'll make you one. The secret sign is my way of doing something that, to show my appreciation for other people. So please don't ask for the secret sign to be in your name. You're not going to get one that way. For this week's episode of Dumb Shit People Say to Small Business Owners. Oh, uh, man. I actually had a little powwow with two other small business owners over cocktails on Friday and we were just kind of talking and the big thing we came up with is just the perception of uh, owning a small business. People, I always tell people how busy I am, I tell people, hey, I mentioned someone um, ordered something that was a pretty decent sized project, I said, I don't have time, I don't have time to do it. And the person said to me, well I seen you were out having dinner the other night, I guess you have some time. If you see me out having a drink or out with dinner or, or spending time with friends, trust me, I work that day. I know I have to have some time to myself. Right now I'm averaging, you talk to any small business owner and they're, I guarantee they're averaging 60 to 80 plus hours a week. Right now, last week I had about 80 hours. Um, nobody cares work harder, but if you see a small business, that tells you, business owner tells you they're too busy or they're gonna, it's gonna be a wait, but then you see them out to dinner with their family, it's all about balance. So you have to be understanding. Um, I don't have, I have, an, I have one kid that comes and helps clean. I have a couple kids that help, but that's it, it's me. The 60 board order, I did every single board. I glued up the boards. I put, I, I ran the boards through the planer, the sander. I'm the guy that cut every board. I'm the one that sanded every board, ran every board through the router. I'm the one who set up the laser engraving. The laser engraving, each board took 10 minutes. There's 60 boards, 600 minutes or equated to about six hours of just a laser engraver. 
um, that was about another 10 to 12 hours of CNC machine. Um, so, yeah, so if, I, if you see me out to dinner that night, you, if you look behind my ears, it's probably sawdust. Trust me, I am, so don't get mad at a small business owner because you see him out. Now if the guy says he's too busy and he's at the bar seven days a week, then that's a different story, but you have to be understanding when someone says, I'm busy, I can't get to it right away. We want your work, but we have to have some time. So anyway, so please be more understanding to small business owners. That's it for this week's Cleveland Cutting Board Weekend Shop Update. Remember, stay motivated, stay positive, and I'll see you on Wednesday for the Whiskey and Wood Talk.